he's saying he's ready to forego chairmanship. <laughs> They'll be able to, they have to still sit <laughs> in the, in the cabinet. But I can see he's consulting majority leader. So, Mr. Speaker, I think the essence is allowed to make sure, Mr. Speaker, there is efficiency and effectiveness of a committee. It is not that, it is not that chairmen of various committees do not have capacity to sit in those committees. But it is because the nature of CIPIC and CIPAC, Mr. Speaker, is that we sit daily from Monday to Friday. And Mr. Speaker, you are aware we have backlogs of audit queries of many years. Even we are not updated in 2023-2024, Mr. Speaker. So on this one, I know majority and minority leaders have consulted on this extensively. Mr. Speaker, number three, Mr. Speaker, on my contribution is the use of subcommittees. I want to inform the, the, this House and uh, Senator Otsosi will be in, in, in agreement with me. And also Senate County Public Accounts Committee, Mr. Speaker, we have agreed that to ensure we come with the latest and clear backlog of audit queries in counties, Mr. Speaker, we, as we go for this working recess, we shall form the subcommittees, Mr. Speaker. Finally, Mr. Speaker, on dormant committees, so that I allow colleagues also to make a, because this is a procedural matter, is on the inactive members of the committees and dormant members, Mr. Speaker, I think majority and minority need to guide us, uh, Mr. Speaker, on how we can handle this issue. Uh, and I agree. Mr. Speaker, in the ruling in the last session on David Okenya, David, David Ocheng, the MP of Ugenya, at that time the national uh, NASA, was it called NASA? I think NASA coalition wanted to de-whip him. And his argument in the ruling of just, Justin Biden Muturi, the current AG, ruled that in his, an upshot of his ruling, Mr. Speaker, when uh, David Ocheng was being de-whipped, and I know Senator Otsosi was in that session, the, the, the speaker and then, Justin Bundi Muturi, ruled that at least every member of parliament, either a senator or a member of National Assembly, must be at least in one committee. So with this insight, I think also we should propose, and I know Senator Met will support this, we should propose that if you are a member of PIC or PAC, you should only be in one committee. You should not be in any other committee so that you are able to channel your energies where it should be, Mr. Speaker. So, Speaker, the upshot, and I think uh, finally on implementation, I agree that uh, let committees follow up on the resolutions. There is always a matrix on how they can implement, Mr. Speaker. I know we have argued, even in the last session, Mr. Speaker, even at the beginning of this session, we have always let us have an implementation committee to follow on recommendation. But when we ask and we have been consulting, we thought if it is PIC, Senate Pacific, we should or CPAC, or agriculture committee to follow up on resolutions, Mr. Speaker, and then I think uh, we need to agree uh, on how the implementation committee, Mr. Speaker. And I agree that on this implementation committee, we must agree as a house and allow these resolutions, Mr. Speaker, uh, to be done, uh, to be done by individual committees. The reporting mechanism, Mr. Speaker, I don't know because I know you, you chair this committee is to look at the re reporting mechanisms. Because, for example, if today we say Kakamega County, Mr. Speaker, we say Kakamega County, for example, PAC, Senate Public Accounts Committee, where his governor appeared last week, recommends that ESCC follows up on a matter. So how do we ensure, Mr. Speaker, that ESCC has implemented the directions of the committee? So I think those are issues I want to throw to members to agree with, Mr. Speaker, because how do we ensure reporting mechanism? How can committee know, Mr. Speaker, that in our recommendations or directions, has it been adhered to? So we need to ensure that there is reporting mechanism, Mr. Speaker, and I want, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, on liaison, I agree that there should be a vice chair so that it is easy, especially you and Deputy Speaker, to allow you to efficiently, among the chairpersons of the liaison, they sit, Mr. Speaker, but in future, also, we should consider as the vice chairpersons also to have our own liaison committee, Mr. Speaker, and I'll propose to be the chair of the vice chairpersons of the committees, Mr. Speaker. But the upshot of this cleanup or recommendations is very beautiful, Mr. Speaker. We need to agree and move forward. With those many remarks, Mr. Speaker, allow me and I beg to second uh, this report or the motion that has been tabled by the committee. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Manzov.